All right, NFL draft. It happened. All seven rounds. We are here. We are we are now informed of each of our favorite teams and all the picks around the NFL. We're just gonna go around a circle, man. Just name your best pick and a pick that you scratch your head after. You wanna take it away, bud? You want me to go? I will. Okay. I'm gonna Pass go. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna start with JC Horn. That was my favorite pick. We talked about this on the Every Yards wait, Matters. Wait, 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 my bad. Are we doing favorite picks in general? Or are we talking about our team only? It's me in general. Okay. My bad. Yeah, so my favorite pick in general was J.C. Horn. I mean, for the Panthers to go him eight, first corner off the board, it's a investment into their defense in a major way. And then you also look at um, the receivers they have in the division, Mike Thomas, <laughs> uh, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, A.B. coming back. Now D.J. Moore, Terrence Marshall. You got a lot of – it's a loaded bunch. So that was uh, very good for them to go. And then Sertain went back. So I'm, I like to see the DBs come off the board. I think uh, the DBs going early set the tone for the draft being fun. Cut Carter, uh, I know you and Jace, especially Jace. Be cautious with your Saints type talk, okay? Go ahead, take it away, man. You said best pick, my pick I like. Yeah, the project your voice, like please. Was, um, <clears throat> the pick I like. There you go. The pick I liked was the uh, Bengals pick because everybody thought they should go went O line. I think they thought about it hard, but I feel like they made the right decision and going for Jamar's favorite target. I mean, uh, Joe Burrow's favorite target and Jamar. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go like that. <laughs> I think they'll thrive <laughs> a lot because of it. And my what in the world pick would be um, <laughs> would be the Saints drafting defensive end. Why didn't you like the pick, man? I just don't think that was the immediate need. However, I do like the the corner we ended up getting later on, who was a sleeper because he was all Pac-12 two years ago, and in the year before that, and it's just like he took that season, COVID season off, so oh, people forgot at, about him. Look at Derek giving the Pac-12 some credit. Okay, it's so, a power five, you know. Yeah, so, yeah. So he um, thinking this grand scheme of things, right? So they uh, <laughs> Paulson Adibo, I think that's how you say it. So yep. A couple years ago, his name was actually, you hear his name a lot, but then, you know, because of the COVID season, you don't, you didn't hear as much. So maybe that's like their way of thinking, oh, we, we thought about it, so we, we knew he was going to fall. That's what they might well try to say. But drafting defensive end, when our defensive line was the best at stopping the run last year, just mm. didn't make much sense to me. But we weren't that good at pass rushing outside of Trey Hendrickson, so maybe that was the issue they were trying to, uh, trying to adjust. But, uh, <laughs> That was kind of my, um, I wasn't feeling it too much pick. And then somebody else had a bad pick, but I can't think of it on top of my head. I got you. I got you. Uh, before, well, oh. the Falcons pick was kind of like what? But, but I get why they took him, but I don't think they, I think they should have found a way to trade back. Okay. I got you. Which, we'll elaborate on that later. Which one? Real be? quick, because I didn't give my. Um, Yours? Yeah. You got but it. are we talking about the first round? or In general. In general, but. Okay. Mine is not like a bad one. It's just as a Seahawks fan, I'm wondering what in the hell do the Cardinals need Rondell Moore for? <laughs> um, I understand now Larry Fitzgerald might not come back. So while that is a blessing, because you know nobody wants to see Larry Legend in the playoffs make a crazy play, but Rondell Moore is one of the most exciting college players. Like if you just seen his tape, he put on against Ohio State through all the good corners that they've had. Come go through the school as a freshman and Derek talked about it you know COVID sit out uh, these players not getting the recognition so that's the reason I thought he fell out of the first round but for them to go with them I'm like they just want all the talent the they got Isaiah, Richard, Isaiah Simmons Kyler Murray DeAndre Hopkins Zayvon already Zayvon Collins yeah Zayvon Collins was a good pick it was one I think it was the first head scratcher of the night but I think and that's what I was trying to explain to Derek about the Kyle Pitts pick is these people just thinking about it from their perspective yeah, as a player? Uh, before I before you go, Jace, uh, Brandon was over there saying Jamar is his boy. Would you like to tell your Jamar Chase story? <laughs> Please don't waste time on the story. I just, I just want to see if you want to tell the story or not. Oh, about his fit. Nah, yeah, yeah. You want to tell your Jamar Chase story? You fan girl, I'm gonna be here all day. I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. All right, you go ahead, Jace. <laughs> Um, I got I kind of got two uh, picks, two picks I like. Right? All right, then don't do it worse. Don't do it worse. Yeah, yeah, we already know about worse. Right? So, <laughs> so 
When he fought, y'all don't my know. first, my first pick. I'm gonna take um John. I know you. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Justin Fields pick. Okay, they right. traded up. Um, I thought the Saints would have done that, but they did it. They disappointed me again. So um, that Justin Fields pick was great. They they pump faked us with the Andy Dalton QB one thing. Um, I still think it's gonna be a, a competition or whatever they do in the off season, but I'm pretty sure it's Justin. Like, Dang, John, he beat you to the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> John was like, I hope Justin Fields to beat me. <laughs> then my second pick. Y'all, gonna, y'all not going to like this one. I think you already know what it is. Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Mac Jones. Mac Jones goes to the Patriots, man. Same build as Brady almost. Oh, That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Bill Check got him another. He got him another Brady. Yeah. yeah. For those, because this was definitely said off camera, Um, but I'm going to hold him liable for it. It's on wax. Jay said Mac Jones is winning four Super Bowls, so... Under the Belichick, under the Belichick um, umbrella? Yes, he will. Uh, John, your turn, bud. You know Cam's... <laughs> um, oh, Cam's not going to have that job for that much. <laughs> you know, obviously, the Justin Fields pick is my favorite. Uh, they, they NFL should have sent some cameras to my crib. <laughs> no, that's what I thought about John. When Derek called you out, John was like, oh, my God. I thought, I was like, <laughs> like John, get it drafted. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement of an NFL player getting drafted definitely was my energy um, Thursday evening. I, I couldn't believe it. Derek did call saying that we trade out. Like, shut up, bro. Shut up. Said, don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. Bro, it's not spoiling. It's just trade out. Yeah. I didn't go up. Did you, uh, bef- I'm going to cut you off. Do, you, good, do you think, uh, did you, did you, in your mind, your heart of heart, did you think Ryan Pace was going to draft Mac Jones? I didn't, man. Like, I, I've never, ever in my 25 years of life seen a quarterback. In uh, a Chicago jersey that was black. I've, I've never seen that before, and I didn't think it w- I would ever see it, honestly. Uh, but Justin Fields, generational talent. I'm excited we got him. That's not even my. That's not my favorite pick, though. I mean, it is, but um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, yeah. But I, I just like how the NFL draft went. Like, if I'm speaking holistically, you had like three different teams link the quarterback up with one of their favorite players, yeah. uh, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow, um, Devontae Smith and. Uh, uh, in uh, Jalen, yep, uh, and then you also had Travis Etienne or what's his name? Etienne, yeah, Etienne, yep. go with um, Trevor Lawrence. So I was just like, dang, like the NFL is really trying to create that chemistry out in college and the NFL. And I think that's exciting. You also got two in water, yep. yeah, yep. yeah, and two. So that's that's what's up. So I'm excited to see how that meshes from the college to the pros. Uh, but you know, you know, no doubt, you know, Justin Fields coming to Chicago and Andy Dalton is my quarterback, QB one. It's okay. I honestly don't even want to see. Justin Fields. <laughs> I don't want to see Justin Fields. Hey, you got to edit that when we zoom in <laughs> and look at each other like, what? <laughs> I don't. And he got QB1. Um, honestly, the pick means more than the player in this situation. Like, just the fact that you showing the fan base, we hear y'all. We're going to go out there and get a player that we believe um, you all will like and will help us win games. I don't see him starting week one. I mean, Patrick Mahomes didn't start week one. Um, okay. All these players that are great now. I'll, start I'll, I will say this, though. Week. If if you guys start on four, on five, and he's still not on that field, there's going there's to be a problem in Chicago. No, that's what I told Bruder because their job is already on the line. So. Yeah, Nagy and Pace, they're on, they're, they're like, they this pick didn't say, if you don't yeah. play, they, they, they still might get fired. But that's what I said, you know, you got to spend it to Andy Dalton because there's a narrative there with him as well and yeah. Nick Foles who you can't get rid of his contract. Yeah. So it's like, Oh, Nick Foles is definitely QB three. So yeah, <laughs> I, I know that, but I'm, I'm I'm saying from a perspective with Fields, it's like the Russell Wilson saga, and you know Pete Carroll played that close to the vest. But I'm saying, oh, we're gonna let him go out and pl- uh, play in training camp because that we're gonna have all that this year. OTAs training camp, yeah, so yeah, they gonna they gonna definitely. I think Fields will definitely and be the you, starter. You forgot the Brandon. Um, I'm scared to give this to you because I'm so unsure. But what were your favorite and worst picks of the NFL draft night? Okay, you took him on. Okay. Yeah, like the suspicion. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just feel like we're going to go in and go hard. That's your team now. I just okay. feel like okay. he in the right system with Kyle Shanahan because he's just so offensive. Oh, that's, yeah, go- offensive that's what it's going to be. I messed with Kyle Shanahan, bro. We supposed to get our Super Bowl, so I hope he get his, bro. That's all, <laughs> that's all it is. Well, you ain't going to mess with him, but you are with the Niners this year. Like, that's Who your team? team? They got to do this annually. Who's your team? Oh, we do <laughs> We do have to get this on wax. We do have to get this. Who are your teams? Go ahead and say it, bro. My team is the Raiders and the Falcons. He ain't never been to Vegas. Never. Never That's going to change, though. That's going to change. Well, he might cap. He might cap. He's going to cap. 
So if the Niners start off like seven and zero, you ain't gonna say, bro. I told y'all that my team. I like Nick Bosa. He he ran, but I like Nick Bosa. I'm gonna be like, I told y'all, boy, about Trey Lance. What about your worst pick? Yeah, Trey Lance is not starting this year. No, but I got another one too, though. You're another favorite? Okay. I love that one. All right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm going to be a dog. Y'all see that video of Mike Tomlin? Yeah, he's like, Najee. 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 You know what this is. But my worst one, I feel like Zach Wilson ain't going to be good. Okay, all right. He's going to be a bust. I just feel like the white boy ain't really got it. Wow. After the pro day. <sighs> yeah, Derek didn't like the pro day though either because he he was cocky like about it. it. You know they did. I think they did too. So I just feel like he might not really. I I do think Phil should have been the second overall pick, but I think what y'all forget about the Jets is, is Robert Sala. And if you think about their draft approach, well, Robert Sala won't come to offense. But they just went and they got the pass, offense. They got the pass game coordinator. But, they just, but they just went offense. Their first four picks, they Michael got. Flirt. That's Man, they got Elijah Moore well, in the, the in the uh, second uh, round. Brother, yeah. oh, they got the they got the next AJ Brown, DK Metcalf in the second round for Zach Wilson to throw to. They got an offensive you lineman. Both of them? They're saying like yeah, Ole Miss the product, they, you know, like oh. LSU. I'm <laughs> not saying. Like, oh, I get what saying. Yeah. Like, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. No, but like the Jets, the Jets, the Jets. He said both. Yeah. <laughs> he said he like yeah. both. He, he's, he's smaller, <laughs> but he said they say he's gonna go crazy yeah, in the Elijah's slot. Good, though. Yeah, I, I, they I said the Jets spent the Jets spent their first four picks off. You hear what they say? James Crowder. Yeah. How many catches he give with Zach Wilson? Who? James Crowder. I mean, he had him. He did have a lot. Zach Wilson got Zach Wilson come out. Yeah, the they, like, they get, I'm giving him three games. They supported him. Three, also, three games before I say they need to trade for Jimmy G or somebody. They go get the hook. Why court. would you trade for that? And you just got a Derek, second. Derek because I don't think Derek, he Derek, Derek is crazy. I don't, I don't think he all that anyway. So he's gonna have to show. He's good. He he's gonna have to have a hurt three years off the rip. He's gonna have to tip. How many years? Three. Donald got how many? Three. He gonna get quarterbacks get three. Donald really fought. They was sleeping. No, he he will be better in Carolina. He'll be better. He'll be better. He'll be way better. All, but yes, all, but all. the Jets already are made better than anything and Sam Angel Darnold had. Offensive coordinator. The offensive but I'm player. saying offensive the Jets player. now are already better than anything Sam Darnold had. <laughs> uh, for me, um, Brandon took my my favorite pick was Trey Lance. I did enjoy that one. But I'll pick another. Uh, I was excited when ETM was dropped to the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, I, th- I thought they were going to do it in the second round, but they did it in the first. So Trevor and ETM back together was dope to see. My worst Ooh, my worst mean? pick. Oh, God, fuck, mute. <laughs> my worst pick was definitely. It's not a bad pick. I just think it didn't make sense. And I've been on this pick for the last two weeks. Kyle Pitts to Atlanta. I understand what you're saying, Demai, how the GMs think. But at the end of the day, the Falcons do not need more offense. I don't care which way you you slice it up. They did get an O line and defense in the second and third round, so they did address those needs. But still, you have, unless you unless you trade Julio, it's like what more offense do you need? You know, I've, you I've, know we don't trade Julio. but I've definitely had time to think about these first, you know, first day draft picks because of course it's we've went through the whole draft now. Yep. What I'm saying is. Let's see, because everybody has to, you know, play in these systems and yes. play in these new jerseys, which I can't is, wait to I wear. Feel like yep. He's a way better upgrade than Hayden Hurst. You know what I'm saying? Yes, but, but Hayden Hurst is still a good tight end, though. So, but Brandon, y'all were. Matt Ryan has thrown for 4,000 yards. Oh. Ten straight seasons. Yeah, like Why not go help Tony AJ? Gonzalez. That's that's you know what I'm that's that is somebody, somebody did tell me that they're trying to get Tony Gonzalez, Gonzalez back. Yeah, but is, but d- your defense all gonna y'all still gonna blow leads. Now nah, they did get leads. your boy Grant out of UCF that they I did like. Game, they did get that was good for their secondary, and they also went offensive line later. So, like the Saints did that too. They came back and got a corner. Yeah, Seahawks with their first couple. Seahawks addressed all they need. They did. They got a Fabian Monroe. They drafted Eskridge. He went to like Western Michigan, but he's he fast, and we got an offensive lineman from Florida so yeah, in a corner that's what, from Oklahoma. Like we said, I agree with Demond. We gotta wait till these players get on the field, of course. But you know, as fans, we get crazy when the pick was right. Well, I know the best pick was Justin Fields, though, John. I mean, the best pick may be Justin Fields, or the best pick may be Trevor Lawrence. I mean, if he leads them back that to the playoffs, the, that was the simple pick. No, but if he leads them to the playoffs, y'all think he over? That don't make you the best pick. Ooh, it was, it was, it was I, I do agree with that. Pick. 